equation 19 do the graph of the function and the function is defined like a piecewise function f of x is equal uh, the first piece is x plus 1 if x is less than 1 and the second piece is 3 if x greater than or equal 1 ok this is the solution for equation 19 Get to the graph of the one piece y function. So we have two pieces. The first piece, let me call it y1. Y1 is equal x plus 1. And y2 is a constant function 3 okay let's do the graph of the each piece separately this is 1 here so y is at 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 3 comma 4 4 comma 5 and so on. negative 1 0 negative 2 negative 1 negative 3 negative 2 Basically, this is a graph of the first piece. Me. Okay. Let me connect the point by the line. This is the line. Okay, the second is easy because it's a constant function, 3. Because the y is a horizontal line. 3, 3, 3, always 3. In both directions. Okay, ready. Let me connect to the point. Are now a transition point and the piecewise function of the transition point is in x equal 1 x equal 1 is here so I try to uh, draw a dotted vertical line Split the plane in two parts. Okay. Now in this part we have empty. In this case you have full point. Okay according to the equation because in the first part is less than no equal no no include this point and in the second part yes it's x greater than or equal one okay now I want to do the graph of the piecewise function so in the right part on the right part we have Let me use some more. Okay, is this part? In the left part, okay. But actually, the the red core represent the graph of the piecewise function. Okay, let me take a vanish to analyze something, right? So for example, say I want to evaluate the function at 4 4 here x equal 4 the value is obvious this 3 
if I want to evaluate, for example, evaluate a negative 4, the uh, negative 4 is here, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 is here. The value is, no, 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 in this direction. Here is negative 4, as evaluating this expression, it's like a negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. The answer is negative 3. Okay, um, I don't know, one more. F evaluate a negative 5. Okay, negative 5 is, this is a negative 4, this is a negative 5. Negative 5 is here. This is a negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. The answer is negative 4. Okay, and this is the graph of the piecewise function. Okay, this is question 20. Again, let's do the graph of the function. This is piecewise function is f of x is defined like a first piece is minus x plus 3 if x is less than 2 and the second piece is 2x minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to. Okay, let's see the solution for the question 20. It's a graph of the piecewise function. The first piece, y1, is equal minus x plus 3. Uh -huh. Let's do in the graph of this. Okay, y in a set is 3, 0, 3. Uh -huh. Now, for example, for x equal 1, 1 here is 3 minus 1 is 2, because the slope is negative. This is 2 comma 1, 3 comma 0, okay, and so it's a linear function. Let me try then connecting the point. Okay, approximately. This is my first. The second piece is y2 is equal. 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3. In this case, the y in a set is negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Here, the slope is positive. This is wrong is 1, right is 2. This point would be 1, comma, negative 1. Another point is, for example, 2. 2 here is 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1, and 2 is 1. Uh -huh. 3 is uh, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 3 is 3, 3 is 3, 3, 3. So 3 is approximately here. Okay. Okay, those are ready. To do the graph, the graph look like approximately that. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see the transition point. Transition point in this example is x equal to. Right, x equal to is here. I tried then to do the dotted line to split the plane between two region before and after two. In this case, it's a coincidence that the first piece and 
the second piece touch in the transition point. This is a special case and what the function is continuous. Continuous means that you can draw the, the, the core without lifting the pencil from the paper. So in this particular example, the NT and the full are exactly in the same place. Okay, let me use then another pen to do the graph of the piecewise function. The, 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 actually, the graph of the piecewise function, so now the first piece, case y1, is equal minus x plus 3, is valid before 2. And no include 2. However, the second piece is 2x minus 3 is valid after 2 and include 2. So we have here this full circle and the rest is like that. Yeah, actually, the red core represents the graph of the piecewise function. Okay, let me take advantage and evaluate some point. For example, evaluate F, evaluate a uh, four. What is four? Four is here. So you must go to the core in this direction, and this is the point. Basically, I using the second piece. So the second piece is two times four minus 3, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay, so this point is the point 4 comma 5. Uh -huh. Let's see for example negative 4. Negative 4 is here. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Negative 4 is here. In this case I go in this direction. Proximal here and F evaluate in negative 4 to evaluate in negative 4 are using the first piece, not the second. So it's minus negative 4 plus 3. Double negative is positive and 4 plus 3 is 7. And this point would be the point negative 4 comma 7 and that's it this is the graph of the piece y okay let's see how we can do the graph of the piece y function using the graphic calculator okay you press y cookie as always and you write the expression of the piece and the condition of the each piece in the same line but separated by parentheses. So you put parentheses. This is a new idea, parentheses. X plus one close the parentheses. This is the first expression for the first piece. And the condition can correspond with this is parentheses X less than one. Okay, the symbol for the less than you can get in this key is called math, but when you press second, it's this. It's less than. Less than is the option 5. No, less than. Less than. Less than. No less than or equal. Okay, again, second. This less than is the auction, yeah, auction five. Ah, good. Less than one. Close the balance. Okay, we complete the first piece. The second piece is a constant function of three, but in, inside the parentheses and the conditional for this 
piece is excluded now. You need to do that or equal one, que es de opción four. Okay. Ready? And now graph. Okay, you see the graph of the piecewise function. The only disadvantage of the graphical grid is, is that you don't see when the circle is full or when the circle is empty. But this is at least good for checking. Let's go to the another example, que es de question 20. Okay, let me clear, clear everything. Come back to the y equal and clear both pieces, clear and clear ok, I come back to the y1 the 20 with the expression is minus x plus 3 close the parentheses and the condition is x less than 2 second test less than, less than, is option 5 Close the parenthesis. Okay. Second piece is open parenthesis. 2x minus 3. Close the parenthesis. Parenthesis again. X greater than or equal to the option 4. Close the parenthesis. Ready to graph. Okay, perfect. In this case, the function is continued. It's something we expect. Okay, the question 21, 22, and 23 are the same. Let's graph the function by starting with the graph of the basic function and then using the technique of the shifting, compressing, stretching, and or reflecting, uh, in this case f of x is equal negative parenthesis x minus 5 close to parenthesis square plus 3. Okay, this is question 21. I want to do the graph of the given function. Uh, start for the basic function. In this case, the basic function is equal y equal x squared, k is a square function. Okay, I know. Okay, the square function, the typical point is 0, 0,0, because the vertex 1, 1. Negative 1, 1. Uh, 2, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 2, 4. Okay, this is enough. Now let's do in the graph. The graph is approximately like that. Okay, the first transformation is y equal x minus 5 yes, I'll be a square ok, this is typical horizontal shift 5 unit 5 unit and 
the direction is to the right because it's minus here. Okay, this is the graph. Look like, like that. Now the new vertex no anymore zero zero is one two three four five zero here. This is six one then. new parabola okay the next transformation is y equal minus x minus 5 squared que es es obvio que es reflection reflection about 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 x axis ok, entonces we have exactly the same parabola except que es flip over the x axis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the vertex stays in here. However, it changes the sign. Any y value change the sign. Here, here, one, two, three, four, here, here. Okay, our parabola looked like that. Not good. Nice cash. Sure. Finally, the last transformation is y is equal negative x minus five square plus three. In this case, we have vertical shift three unit over because it's positive. Okay. Now, finally, our graph looks like, like that. So now the new vertex is located at one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three here. This is the new vertex. And of course, my parabola open down. Two, three, four, here, plus. Okay, and this is the final graph. Okay, one important point is for example the vertex in the, in the case of the parabola the vertex of the basic parabola is located at 0, 0,0 here this is when you are doing the shiftment horizontal to the right the new vertex is 5,0 huh. when you are doing the reflection the reflection doesn't change the vertex, but it stays the same. The only uh, reflection change the direction when they open the parabola, in this case open down. And finally the vertex here is the point five comma comma three. Okay? Okay, 
let me try to do the question 21 using the graphic calculator. There are two possibilities. You put directly the expression and you get the final answer or you are doing a step by step exactly the same uh, I want to can you uh, you answer in the, in the test okay let's do it step by step okay let's go to the y equal and you put the basic function the basic function is x to the second power okay the first step is the horizontal shift five unit down so you press for example bars key you select y, y bears y variable select y1 and here we have y1 parenthesis x minus 5 it's a horizontal chief 5 unit to the right direction and right now the second the next transformation is reflection reflection is minus variable y variable and you select y2 get the second after the last transformation is y3 variable y variable select y3 y3 plus 3 okay gets the vertical shift uh -huh. and this is the final answer so to emphasize that this is the final answer let me change the style I put like a ball that so this uh, differentiate okay, this is the final answer that so we are doing the graph of the every piece let's press graph this is the basic parabola this is the horizontal chief if I unit to the right uh -huh. this is a reflection and finally the vertical chief you see that this is the final answer in bold ok, 3 unit over perfect ok, question 22 is, is exactly the same same question but you, I change the function the new function is f of x is equal a square root x plus 6 minus 5 Okay, this is the question 22. In this case, it's obvious that okay, the basic function that we are using is square root. Mm -hmm. The typical point of the square root is again 0, 0. is 1 1 because the square root 1 is 1 and 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 because the square root uh, 4 is 2 ok let me draw then approximately my chord mm -hmm. now the next transformation is y equal square root x plus 6 uh -huh. this is typical horizontal horizontal shift 6 unit in this case in the left direction because it's plus okay then the point then is okay it's negative 6 oh, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6 here uh -huh. 
and this is one one again and this is one two three four two okay this is approximately the core that corresponded with this core The last transformation in this case is y equal square root x plus 6 minus 5. It is obvious that it is vertical chief phi unit down because it's negative okay therefore my new point reference point is in six one two three four five six and negative five one two three four and five here. One one is okay. And one two three four and two one two. Okay, this is approximately my new core. Okay, so at this point is the point. Uh, negative six comma negative five mm -hmm. in this case and the original and the original the point is point is zero comma zero in the basic and the first transformation is negative six comma zero Okay, and the last was negative six comma negative five. That's it. Okay. Let me try to check in this problem. So the the problem of the question twenty two by graph calculator. Okay, I go directly to the y equal. I put the basic function, in this case the basic function is a square root square root x mm -hmm. and let's do a transformation by transformation the first transformation is you press bars y bars y1 and inside you put the transformation x plus 6 x plus 6 and finally is the Vertical chief, press bars again, y variable, select y2 in this case, because it's a second transformation, minus 5, subtraction 5. And of course, this is the final answer, let me put in bold style. Super. Now graph. This is the basic square root function. This is the horizontal shift to the left. And final vertical shift down, fire. And the ball curve is the final answer. Okay, the last question, question 23, is exactly the same graph of the function using transformation. In this case, the function is f of x is equal, open parenthesis, x minus 1. Close the parenthesis, raised to the cubic power, plus 7. Okay, the last question, que is the question 23. Okay, for solving that, the basic function in this case is the function y equal x to the cubic power. 
Okay, this function passes through the origin also, 0, 0. A typical point is 1, 1, 1, and negative 1, negative 1, because it's a typical odd function. Suppose another point 2 is 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And likewise, negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. Okay, ready. I'm connecting the point by the curve. And I know that the curve looks like, like that. Increasing fast. Okay, good. This is a typical QB. The transformation number one in this case is y equal parenthesis x minus one to the given power of course. This is typical horizontal shift one unit to the right because the sign is negative. Okay. Now, our curve look like similar. Okay, now this point right now is, the reference point is here is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 from this point, and 1, 1 from this point. Okay. Uh, and the curve is similar. Okay, suppose this point, 1, 2. And eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Here. And this is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here. Okay, connecting. Good. Now, let's see the next transformation. The next transformation is the last. It's y equal parenthesis x minus 1 to the cubic power a plus 7. Okay, this is typical vertical chief 7 unit over because 7 is positive. Okay? In this case, the point would be 1, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 here. Uh -huh. And this is 1, 1. And this is negative 1, negative 1. And approximately the curve look like, like that. Okay. Okay. So now this point, the reference point, the most important point, this point is one comma seven. Uh -huh. However, in the basic original, this point was 0, 0, and in this first transformation was 1, 0. Okay, and the last transformation was 1, 0. Perfect. Okay, let's solve in the last example using graphic calculator. Okay, let's go to the y equal key. I put the basic function is x to the cubic power, x power 3, enter. Mm -hmm. The first transformation is horizontal shift. So I go to the variables, y variables, 
select y1 open parenthesis and perform the shiftment gets x minus 1 close the parenthesis and the last transformation is vertical shift this is again select bars y variable in this case the second step is y2 um, you adding 7 plus 7 okay so this is the final answer you put in bold I change the style in bold to emphasize that this is final answer ready to graph this is a basic QB function okay this is the first horizontal shift one unit to the right and finally, 7 unit, vertical shift, 7 unit over. That's it.